Hey guys, movie fan here. Today I'm going to be talking about something very different. I'm going to be talking a little bit about a documentary entitled The Search for Kennedy's PT-109. It's uh, about President John F. Kennedy, who I think most of us would remember from history, but I don't know how many people these days are aware that he served in World War II as a PT boat captain. For those of you who don't know, a PT boat is basically short for patrol torpedo boat. They were short, they were fast, they carried torpedoes and guns and depth charges. They were designed to speed along and sink Japanese ships in the South Pacific because our Navy wasn't fully assembled there yet. And at the same time, the South Pacific had a lot of small islands and shallow areas, so the PT boats were perfect for this. Anyway, Kennedy and his crew were on patrol one night, and their ship got cut in half by a Japanese destroyer. Two men died, but the rest of them did survive. It took four days, but they were finally rescued. And in 2002, Dr. Robert Ballard, who we all know as the man who discovered the Titanic, went to look for it. He searched it in the area between two islands one named Kalambangar, and another named Gizo. But there was a third island, which nobody really knew what it was called officially, because it was just unofficially called Plum Pudding. That's where uh, Kennedy had uh, taken his men, at least for a while. Ballard went searching for it. This is what he found. Now this has got a tip on it. Can you swing? Okay. All right, we want you to get down. Let's see, that almost looks like fins on a torpedo. That looks like a fin, two counter rotating props. That's like a torpedo. Yeah. Well, you got a torpedo and you got a torpedo launcher. It smells like, looks like, Talks oh, is, like, um, acts um, like. It's yeah, beginning the, the to look placement. Like, yes. It's just yeah. too extraordinary. She's tapering back the way she should. We got a fin in front of twin contra rotating props. Yeah. Boy, yeah. you couldn't ask for better no. ideas. So, what do we got? We have a torpedo tool off of one PT 109. Oh, it has yeah, a Mark no, 8 torpedo in sight. No, no, no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. The, the dimensions are right. Everything is perfect. Now, obviously, a torpedo tube, that is important. However, ever since this was discovered, they keep claiming that Ballard found the PT-109, and the Navy says that that's got to be it because allegedly there's no records of any other PT boat being sunk in that area. And unfortunately, I have some serious doubts about this. Now, I'm not calling Robert Ballard a liar here. Finding that torpedo tube shows that he found a PT boat. That doesn't mean he found the PT boat. That's very important because you want to know how many PT boats had that exact same model of torpedo tube? Thousands of them. So that could be anybody's torpedo tube. Or all we know, that could be someone else that was long forgotten. That torpedo tube does not specifically say that was the boat. And that's the truth. And unfortunately, because of Navy regulations, they won't let anyone dig there because. Two men died there, and Navy regulations say that when that happens, it must never be disturbed. I have the greatest respect for the Navy, but, you know, sometimes you just got to say to hell with regulations. Because, you know what? This doesn't prove anything. Because, again, thousands of PT boats had that exact same model of torpedo tube. Now, if they had something else, like maybe if it was unearthed and shown that it was cut in half, then we could talk. And there's also another thing about Kennedy's boat that stands out. Before they set sail that night, they actually mounted a 37 millimeter anti-tank gun onto the forward deck. Now, if they found that, then I'd say we definitely have something here. But there was no sign of it. And if it's there, it's probably under the sand. And the Navy's just assuming this has got to be it. And I can't help but notice, Ballard has never really truly talked about this ever since. And why? Because he's a smart man. He knows that you need more proof than just that to say that that's it. Now, if he has talked about it here and there, then that's news to me. Because any interview that comes up with the man, it's always about Titanic. They never talk about this. And as for the Navy records, they could be wrong. In fact, I got a great example for you. 
In 1991, a German submarine from World War II, better known as a U-boat, was discovered off the coast of New Jersey, and after a lot of investigative work, they finally were able to identify it. That U-boat was identified as U-869, and that boat was presumed lost off the coast of Africa, near Gibraltar, because that's where she was supposed to have gone, but she was in, off the coast of New Jersey. So, records can be wrong. So to say that only one boat was sunk in that area, I'd say that's very unlikely. There's probably a few dozen at least in the area that we don't know about. It wouldn't surprise me. So the way I see it, they jumped the gun big time on this one. Because the fact is, all we see here is a torpedo tube. This does not prove that that is the 109. It really doesn't. That just proves that that's a PT boat. And I have absolutely no doubt that they are in the right area. But again, a torpedo tube that was used on thousands of boats of the same make and model, that doesn't prove that this is it. If there's any way we'll know for certain, I would just hope that some rich guy with a lot of diving equipment just takes a chance, goes there, sweeps all that sand away, and films every detail and shows it to the world, regardless to the consequences. Because if someone actually did that and found that the boat was cut in half and has a 37 millimeter anti-tank gun on the forward deck, then we could say for certain this is it. But if they do that and they find nothing of the sort, then we could find out that they were completely wrong and that the Navy just made big fools of themselves for this. Yeah, I know, they'll be breaking the law when they do this, but you know what? It would be worth it. Because you know, sometimes you just got to say the hell with the rules, to hell with regulations. Forget it. If you want answers, you got to dig for them. And just assuming this is it just because of a torpedo tube and records, which could very well be wrong, that's no way to determine anything. Let me know what you guys think. This is Movie Fan, signing off.